What's going on everyone? What's poppin'? I'm back here today with a powerful new team. So the Drizzle ability of course is not allowed in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU tier. So I decided to make a manual rain team, which I might add are super underrated right now. And what better Pokemon to feature on it than Swift Swim Floatzel, a Pokemon that I believe is one of the returning ones this gen. Now before we get into the video, I'd like for y'all to leave a comment and tell me what is your favorite dancer, specifically rain dancer. I'd like to know. Um, I actually really like Rain Dance Scizor a lot, which I will show you all on the team soon. But I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments, as always. And here we have the Floatzel Life Orb, Swift Swim. Really fun mon to use overall. Um, we have the nice Waterfall with Life Orb. Rain Boosted Waterfall, Adamant Nature with uh, Base 105 Attack. Hits really, really hard versus many different kinds of Pokemon. And I really like this Pokemon a lot because it's pretty fast. Like, I don't have to run a lot of speed. I can outrun Choice Scarf Base 110s, like Gladi and Gengar and stuff. With only this much speed and Swift Swim, can outrun those and... Um, it's a good mixed attacker, so we have like Ice Beam for Garchomp, Focus Blast for things like Empoleon, Crunch, which is able to hit up Ladi and stuff, as well as Shedinja, so that we don't get destroyed by that. Because this team, like, I guess most rain teams are gonna maybe struggle versus Shedinja stall and stuff, because, like, think about it, Kingdra doesn't have coverage for it that you that you typically run, neither does Ludicolo and stuff too. So I figured, uh, you know, just having Crunch on that could be pretty useful. Um, and then it's just a really good Swift Swimmer overall, but we have the Rain Setter Azelf with the Damp Rock here to extend the turns of Rain. Good lead Pokemon because it can taunt things to prevent any kind of setup or hazard on our side. We have our own rocks as well with Explosion so that we can uh, knock ourselves out and go right into a Swift Swim on after we Rain Dance. Kingdra is amazing, so this thing also able to outrun, um, I guess, any kind of uh, base uh, 50, not base 50, what is it, um, 110, like the ones that hit 350, Choice Scarfers. So we can outrun that. Uh, and of course I have Waterfall, the mixed attacking set, so that we can actually dent Blissey in the rain. After a Surf, I think Waterfall is an easy to hit KO from that range. And then we have here uh, Scizor with the Rain Dance, nice Damp Rock. And I like this Pokemon a lot because it helps out versus like Latios and stuff. You can switch into it in Rain Dance and you turn out. The momentum with this thing is really nice. And we have enough attack to Oko Weavile, which is I think pretty useful. Then we have uh, Ludicolo here, nice uh, Surf Energy Ball over Giga Drain because I like the power, because I'm running Timid for the reason to outrun certain things. In Swift Swim, to outrun Choice Scarfers, I want to have a way of uh, doing as much damage as possible to Pokemon such as Manaphy, which I think Energy Ball is probably the best attack for it, for a rain team. Um, and then finally, Choice Scarf Mamoswine, I just needed a ground type for the electric immunity because it's a rain team. And I think Mamoswine's great, good coverage overall, and hits things pretty hard. I'm running Stone Edge. If I was running any other set that's not uh, Choice Scarf, I'd be running Rock Tome. <laughs> you already know. Um, but that's going to be the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game and see how we do with the team. Try to make Floatzel put in the work, but this team is really powerful. Like, I've been doing really well with it, I would say. So let's go ahead and just lead Azelf here. I think Rain is super underrated, like... Not a lot of teams are well prepared for it, I would say. Especially when we have like three Swift Swimmers on the team. And actually, even our Swift Swimmers know Rain Dance too. So we, we got one, two, three, four Pokemon with Rain Dance. Actually, here, what I want to do is... I don't know which one has rocks, if it's the Clef or the Jirachi. I want to Rain Dance immediately. As the U turns out, so that's fine. We immediately get the Rain up, which is great for us. If he has a Choice Scarfer, he'd go into it. But he goes into Rotom. I assume this is probably a Choice Scarfer. If he wants to lock himself in, he can. Oh, I guess not. Oh, nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and explode here. Get a, get a little bit of chip on this thing. And then I can go into Ludicolo now. Probably just go right for the Surf. We could also take it out with an Energy Ball as well. But I kind of want to Surf here. Hmm. Would he switch out? Let's see. I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll Energy Ball. Hit the Jirachi up and I can Surf here. I wanted to Surf badly, but... He hesitated a second. Still doesn't do enough though, so this is this is fine. Let him switch out here. He's probably going into Breloom, I would say. Possibly. Yeah, it's gonna be Breloom. I assume this is gonna mock punch me. And that does knock me out. He's life orb, but there's two turn of rain left. So what I can do here. I could go Floatzel. Floatzel actually is really good in the end game. It's really good in the end game. Ooh, what do I do? 
So I kind of just want to go Kingdra. I could drop a Draco. I could Surf here. I'm actually going to Surf. Should do a lot to this Breloom. Life Orb, Rain Boosted Surf. Yeah, so Jirachi's dead. Nice. Got rid of that Pokemon. I think that was a Spideff Rachi as well. We are Life Orb, so we're doing a lot of damage here. The good thing is that actually Mamoswine could potentially clean up in the end once we get rid of this uh, Rotom. And yep, and I think Mamoswine actually has a good shot in the end here with the Choice Scarf. So now we just need to get a little Rain Dance up once again. I'm actually going to go Scizor here. So he Moonblasts. This could be offensive. I'm going to Rain Dance anyways. Yeah, he is offensive. Knocks me out, but now we get to go into... I want to say we could go Kingdra and then end. We could end game with Floatzel. Ooh, we could end game with Floatzel as well. Actually, I'm gonna go Kingdra first and Surf. So we get a lot of damage here. He's gonna knock us out. We go Floatzel next. Just waterfall this. Get rid of this Pokemon. So you might have Extreme Speed on Dragonite. Potentially. I wonder who he's going into though. It's gonna be- oh, we get rid of Gengar first. Okay, that's amazing. So this is really good for us. Let's just waterfall this. He goes Dragonite. It's leftovers. Um, we can Ice Beam here. Get rid of this Pokemon. Yeah, and the Choice Scarf, Mamoswine, I think is gonna come through. This is gonna be really good. I- think Floatzel can live Breloom? I'm not sure though. So he goes Gengar. I think we just Waterfall again. Yeah, knock this out. And we can Ice Shard Breloom, which I think should knock it out. If I'm not mistaken. So let's just go ahead here and, and Ice Beam. Yeah, so then we just go Mamoswine, Ice Shard, which I, I don't know how much it's going to do. Oh! Ooh, nice. Perfect, perfect. So that worked out pretty well. He literally lived on 1%, but the Life Orb knocked him out. And of course, Mamoswine can live the Mach Punch from Breloom and win us the game in the end. So that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good game overall to start it out with. And Floatzel was really solid in um, the late game. Wow, nice, nice. Let's continue on and uh, get another one here with Floatzel. Floatzel endgame is just really strong, I feel, in a lot of different matchups. And here we have a... Uh, a matchup where Floatzel Endgame could be pretty good, but I'm also looking at Ludicolo Endgame. That's also another one. <laughs> Got the grass coverage for the um for the Crawdont. Let's leave his elf. His Breloom. I kinda just want to I kinda just want to rain dance turn one. Uh, but it looks like he's scarfed and gets two seeds. He would have needed four to knock me out. Or no, five to knock me out, right? One, two. That's less than half. Yeah, he needed all five. <laughs> Let's go Scizor, then U-turn. U-turn out is the play. And so Empoleon comes in. Nice. Nice. Here what we do. I mean, we could go Floatzel right now. We, we could literally go Floatzel and Focus Blast here is the play. This should probably do a decent amount to this Pokemon. Yep. Nice and decent amount. You already know. I wonder if he'll try to play around this thing. Yeah, it's 51. That's not bad. Definitely would have uh, been in range if um, he didn't get the extra leftovers. But I definitely want to knock this out if I can. I might just waterfall here. Just to get the guaranteed damage. Potential flinch as well. So now at this point in time, I believe that Kingdra can pick, up, pick this thing off with the knockout using Surf or something, or um, or Ludicolo. I'm going to go Kingdra and just Surf here. Empoleon should get knocked out. And we could also get Rain Dance with um, Azelf if we want to. We still have it at 50. So it is pretty good. I think another Pokemon here gets knocked out. I don't know if this Dragonite gets knocked out, actually. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, I think maybe we just Draco. Doing a lot, doing a lot. Respectable damage. He'll just outrage here. What we want to do next is, I believe, who do we rain dance with? I think rain dance with Azelf is the play. 
Yeah, let's rain dance here. Or we set up rocks and then rain dance with Scizor. But then, no, he might have uh, Defog on Gliscor, maybe? I'm gonna get rain dance up. So he's, uh, okay, so he is done with being confused. And so what we do here is we go Ludicolo. Just a clean surf is all we need to do. A clean surf. So Gliscor's gone. Nice, nice. Very nice. If Dragonite comes back in, he's probably going to extreme speed. So we're going to want to switch out. Yeah, he's going to extreme speed here. Let's go Scizor. And then U-turn out there. Yep. So let's U-turn out here. Or we Roost. I think U-turn's the play, though. I think he's going to keep this Dragonite. Yeah. So Crawdont dead. We go into Mamoswine. Good old Mamoswine here. See what he goes into next. We could probably lock ourselves into Icicle Crash. So we are Choice Scarf, he's Choice Scarf, but our Choice Scarf is faster. So we can just Icicle Crash here. Yep, gone. Excellent, excellent. Three turns of rain left. Yeah, and that's GG. Yep, good game. So at, at that point in time, he'd, he would have had to go Gengar, I think. If we sack Mamoswine, then we can just Bullet Punch win. Um, or just go Ludicolo, force him to extreme speed, and then Bullet Punch in the end. Nice. So the rain comes through once again. Two for two with the rain team. Absolutely love to see it. Just love seeing uh, the squads put in the work here. Oh, it's probably another Azelf lead. Actually, I think I'm gonna, mm, maybe I'll lead Scizor in case he leads Starmie. Yeah, exactly. Yep, 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 perfect. Let's U-turn out here. Um, I think U-turns the play. As Infernape comes in, nice. We go Azelf and we can get the Rain Dance, not the Rocks because... Yeah, we don't need the Rocks just yet. So let him do that. Potential to win a Speed Tie here, by the way. Potential to win a Speed Tie by clicking Explosion. Let's see if we win it. Okay, well that works too. And gone, nice. So now what we do here is we go, I think, just immediate pressure with Floatzel. Look at this team in Floatzel, like immediate pressure with Floatzel, here's the play. Ice Beam the Garchomp. I think this is a Floatzel sweep. <laughs> I think this might be... Well, this is probably Sash. No, it's, it's just a Floatzel sweep. It's just a Floatzel sweep. <laughs> ah, good game. So that was like the, probably the easiest Floatzel matchup of our entire life. Um, like Floatzel literally with the coverage that it had could Oko everything. If the Zam wasn't Sash, then it, yeah, it just knocked out everything. At that point in time. Ah, nice. Very nice. So that's uh it's pretty cool to see. I mean, they forfeited right before Floatzel knocked out five months. It's uh it's what you love to see about Floatzel. I used it actually in my uh when I played the, the games for a little bit. And then I swapped it. <laughs> this was uh I think the original uh, original Pearl I, I had this Pokemon on my team for a little bit. Where's this game at? Where's this game at? There we go. Ooh, the Gastrodon. The big problem. But Ludicolo looks amazing in this matchup. It looks amazing. So we have to really preserve Ludicolo as well as possible. So this easily looks like the Azelf lead. Just, um... I think just Raindance first turn, I think, is the play. Want to activate it for us. So it's actually going to be Gliscor, so I'm kind of tempted to taunt here. But I might just get, I might just do Rain Dance. He actually knocks off, so we get the Rain Dance up, which is great. And then we can just Rocks here. Should be the play. I don't care about taunting this thing, really. So he's going to knock off again. Let's go ahead and explode. Get some damage off as he decides to defog. It's not going to work. And now we get to bring in... Ludicolo, I think, is the play. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Ludicolo and Ice Beam. Turn one should be should be what we need to do. Ice Beam will Oko Gliscor. Nice. And then whatever comes in next, we switch out because I know it's going to be something that can take a hit. So let's see exactly what that's going to be. Gastrodon. He. Uh, I think he's going to try to play around. Why, why would he? 
There's no way. Yeah, okay, like, he's gonna go into that. Pretty sure a Surf takes it out from this range, but do I want to risk it is the question. That did, I, that did 19. I want to say Surf knocks it out, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go Mamoswine. As he try attacks here, good play on his part. I'm just going to... I think Earthquake's the play. As Tangrowth comes in. And this is perfect because there's only one turn of rain left. So we get to go into Scizor and we get to Rain Dance. So he'll knock off my Damp Rock, unfortunately, but I think Rain Dance is still fine here. Because we'll get to... Yeah, he's chipped now. This is definitely in range of a Surf, especially after a U-turn. So yeah, we can just U-turn out, and then definitely in Surf range. So we're going to knock it out here with our Ludicolo once again. And that's gone. So if Lottie comes in, he can definitely take a hit. We're going to want to switch out of that Pokemon. The cool thing is I think that a, um, a Crunch plus an Ice Beam takes out Tangrowth. So we could sack Scizor, perhaps, and then... There goes Gastrodon here. <laughs> Why? Why back to Gastrodon? So he could bait me again? I'm going to Energy Ball this time, though, I think. Definitely Energy Ball here. Yes, Gastrodon's gone, so that opens up the whole thing now. That opens up everything. Yeah, and Lucario's in now, so all we do here is we click Surf. Extreme Speed shouldn't take us out. Yep, perfect, and this Pokemon's gone too. Gone as well, and now we could just go into... I want to say Mamoswine here. Yeah, as Lottie comes in. So we got Icicle Crash, see what his set is. So he goes Tangrowth. That does a little bit of damage. So he's not Choice Scarfed. I think we keep Mamoswine around. I'm faster than Tango, so I can actually roost on it. I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go Kingdra. And just Rain Dance here is the play. Or just drop a Draco and then win, but... Let's make the stylish play in Rain Dance. <laughs> the style. Get the Rain up, and then drop the Draco here. Should knock it out. If this thing is Fizz Def, it should definitely take it out. Yeah, nice. Nice. And we have enough turns of rain so that Floatzel could come in right after and win the game. So let's go ahead and just drop another Draco. Miss the Draco doesn't matter because now we got the Floatzel Crunch to win us the game in the very end. And that's going to be GG. It's Envy once again. Look at that. Floatzel coming through. So like, I really, I really enjoy sort of the rain style for um for this generation when there's no drizzle in the game rain dance is the way to go other pokemon i want to experiment with is um volbeat illumice those have prankster rain dance you can you can actually prankster rain dance and then you turn out get the slow you turn off or something there's another one i'm going to probably test at some point in time when i make another rain team but for this one i just wanted to feature uh rain dance itself i think which is definitely not seen as much i would say haven't really run into any rain teams. Or like super dedicated rain teams often. So now let's see what our next matchup's gonna be. And it's gonna be this guy's team here. He's got the Umbreon though, that's a huge problem. Gonna be able to tank hits left and right. But let's leave the Azelf. Let's leave the Azelf here, get the rain dance off first, maybe. Could work. I'm gonna start a timer. So he sees the team, he knows the power. I think Umbreon's gonna be a problem though. Just gotta be able to chip it down enough. Kingdra might be able to do it. Like it could, depending on his set, either Kingdra or Floatzel, depending on the defensive stat. Umbreon, okay, so I'm going to get rocks first. That actually knocks me out in one? That's crazy, I thought it, I thought it wouldn't. Oh, because I'm max attack, I forgot. <laughs> max HP, but I'm not... No, I'm max HP though, right? Yeah, max HP, I'm not max attack. Dang, that's crazy. Right, let's go Scizor. Rain Dance, U-turn is the play. So we Rain Dance here, he's going to wish. Let's go ahead and U-turn out now. 
into our Kingdra, I believe is the play. As he goes Garchomp, so actually now what we do is we go into uh, Floatzel. And just Ice Beam here is the play. Which I don't know if he'll expect or not, but he does. However, I think Waterfall takes this thing out from 71. It should. Depending on his EVs. Yep, gone. So Floatzel coming through. Breloom is in, so he's probably going to Mach Punch here. I'm just going to Ice Beam it though. Oh, it lived? That's crazy. No. No. Toxic Orb. Okay. Um, definitely going to go Scizor here. As he tries to Bullet Seed, I can mock Punch this. Or I can just U-Turn, actually. U-Turn is the play. U-Turn is the way. So yeah, Umbreon comes in. Oh, that's great. Takes like that much damage. Just fantastic. So I go Kingdra and I Surf here. And gone. Umbreon is Umbre gone. <laughs> oh, I want to drop a Draco on this thing though. But however, I'm actually going to Rain Dance first. And then I'm going to drop the Draco here so I can get it in range of Energy Ball. That seems like the play. Yep. And then we go Ludicolo. I think we just Surf here. That should knock it out. Don't even need to do any other, other move just in case he switches out or something. So Garchomp's in, we Ice Beam here, that's gone, and that's GG, nice, nice, putting in the work, <laughs> putting in the finest of work. We got three Swift Swimmers on the team, they're putting in the finest of work. Um, still, I, I wish that uh, Floatzel could have knocked out that Breloom, but because I saw the Toxic Orb, he probably was a little bulkier than he should have been. Um, usually I think it knocks it out after rocks, if it's a more offensive Breloom set. So on to the next one. On to the next one. They call me the Rain Man because I'm out here with the Rain Dance team. Whew. Alright. Oh no, a Tyranitar. The automatic sand versus the manual rain. Which one will win? <laughs> okay, I think I'll lead here actually with the Scizor. Uh, the reason is because of the fact that Starmie and Titar are potential leads. And so let me U-turn out here. I think is the play. I think is... What we need to do. So yeah, Lucario's in. Let's go ahead and just probably go into Mamoswine and Earthquake. We are Choice Scarf Mamoswine, and his team does not have anything off the ground. Gengar is not a Levitator. It's not not like the not like the old gens, you know, not like Gen 4. Where it could levitate. So Starmie's gonna get two hit KO'd here. And I'm just going to uh, reveal to him what I am. And I'm Choice Scarf. Goodbye, Starmie. So that Pokemon being gone is amazing. Amazing for us. So at this point in time, he's forced to go yep, into his own Mamoswine, where we go into Azelf here, I think, and either set up Rocks or Rain Dance. If he tries to Earthquake, it's not going to work. Let's go ahead here, and I think Rocks may be a little better just for now. And then I can probably... So he's Rocks here, so is this Sashed Mamoswine? I don't know. I'm going to Rain Dance here. If he's Stealth Rocks Earthquake, he's probably Ice Shard. And something else. Oh, but look at this play right here. Yo, check this out. Get the Rain Dance up, over overwrite the sand. And then we can... Explode. Oh, Scarf Titar. Nice, he's Scarf Titar. Okay, good to know, good to know. Let's go ahead and get a knockout with Floatzel. Floatzel right here. Yo, look at this. Look at this team now. So Scarf Titar, that's a good... Pokemon. Oh, I don't know why he sacked that. He, he, why did he sack? I don't think that was a great idea. <laughs> Unaware Clef. Okay, nice. Let's waterfall this thing too. I guess he could stall, stall the rain out this way. Um, oh, that did a lot. He moonblasts. So unfortunately, um, Flosal goes down here, but we knocked out Titar, we knocked out Clef, and there's one turn of rain left. So what we do here is we go... I think into Ludicolo and Surf here. Yeah, knock this out. Disabled. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. Because now I think he can set up with Lucario. No, but he goes Mamoswine. Okay, nice. Let's rain dance. Oh no. He, oh, he's freeze dry. Ooh. Life Orb, freeze. Oh, uh, Life Orb, freeze dry. Yeah, he's Life Orb. Okay. So he's rocks. Earthquake, Freeze Dry, Ice Shard. Good to know. 
I'm going to rain dance here. And then I'm going to let him knock me out because I don't want to let Lucario set up exactly. That's exactly what I thought he was going to do. Go right for the surf and knock this out. He does have Ice Shard, but I think our own Mamoswine can take it out in the end by um, going into it now and clicking Earthquake. Should knock it out. Should knock it out with Choice Scarf. Yep. Good game. GG. It's MV once again. GG. Ah, nice rain. There's just something that feels more satisfying about using a team that does not have drizzle. It's like manual rain. If, if it's manual weather, there's something that's more satisfying about that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but really satisfying to just click rain dance and, and win. It's uh, it's nice. Oh, this uh, nah, this is a bad matchup. This is Trick Room versus Rain. That's that's not the right matchup. I feel like this one is a Trick Room game that I will lose most unfortunately but let's go ahead and lead with the uh, float soul i think i just crunch here get the nice uh crunch off if possible i think that should do more than ice beam because we have uh, more attack unless this out is like fizz def or something but go ahead and uh, click that crunch yeah that's a very fizz def so he trick rooms up let's go ahead and uh i think waterfall here so you turns out into who I wonder. Crawdon. Probably could have Focus Blast or something. I'll sack a Zelf. I don't think I need it. Should be the play. So he's Life Orb. Scizor can probably take a hit from this thing. I would think it could probably take one hit. Yeah, nice. So Crawdon is out of the way. That thing is a pretty big threat. I must say. Um, so I go into Kingdra. He's still got two Trick Rumors. Yeah, it's going to be Aggron with the Head Smash, isn't it? <laughs> Aggron with the Head Smash. Okay, Trick Room's done. Okay, actually, that's, this is fine. This is fine. I um, think I kind of just want to go Floatzel here. Probably just Waterfall. Well, we know he's... Um, We actually know he's... Actually, maybe I Focus Blast. Yeah, because we know he's, um, what is it, the Rockhead? So maybe because of his defense, he would have lived the Waterfall. I just Waterfall here. Knock it out. Oh, he's already lost, uh, the other Trick Rumor now. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we just Waterfall to try to flinch. I'll get Crunch here. I'm going to Waterfall. Try to get a flinch. No flinch there. He might just explode and have three turns left. Yeah, he does. Nice. Okay, so in that case, what we do is we go... I think Ludicolo. Yeah, because he's going to erupt here. Ooh. So we surf here, I think. So yeah, eruption's the play on his part. We then go into Kingdra. I think we just click surf. So we're times four resistant, which is great for us. So we, we definitely surf here. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. I think we win. I think we win this game. Because all we do now is rain dance on the, on the last turn. Yeah, <laughs> you already know. You already know. Oh, no, he switched. But I think we're fine. Um, because we have Ice Shard. So he outrages. He should be Scarfed and locked in. I think we just Ice Shard here. Does he knock me out? Let's see. Outrage. And yeah, we win with another Ice Shard. That's going to be GG. Good game, good game once again. Actually, that's nice. <laughs> I thought we were going to lose that game because uh, Trick Room versus a Rain matchup when all the mons are supposed to be fast versus when all the mons are supposed to be slow to outrun you. That's uh, that's even more difficult. For sure, that's even uh, more deadly versus us. But we still prevailed versus Trick Room. Never bring Trick Room to the Trick House. You already know. That's the number one rule unless you're me. Unless you're me or us, I guess. You could bring Trick Room because we have the Trick Mansion. At this point in time. It's not even the house anymore. It's the mansion. So let's grab another one here. Maybe like two more for this one. I think we can end it off. We've gotten to see the rain. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh. What might we have here? Venomoth. So he's probably going to lead with the Dawn fan, right? Maybe I just lead Ludicolo or I lead... I'm going to lead with... Uh... 
Oh, I could lead Mammoth Swine. I could lead Mammoth Swine even if I wanted to. No, I'm, I'm gonna lead Floatzel. Yeah, I like the Floatzel lead. Hard Scizor right now is the play. See what he wants to go for here. It's gonna be the Throat Chop. That is a lot. I'm gonna Bully Punch here. I should be able to knock it out in one. But he goes for Alligator, so what we do here is, I believe, you turn, let him knock us out. We go Azelf. Rain, Rain Dance, here's the play. Rain Dance Explosion, because I think at plus two will knock out stuff. So we just need to get the, the Rain here. In comes Lottie, though. Okay, so I'm actually going to set up Rocks here. As he Ice Beams, and of course you freeze me. Of course you do. Just what you love to see. And he gets the screen up as well. The dual screens. Uh, that would not have happened if we had uh, exploded or something. He would have only gotten one. But unfortunately, the hacks prevails. Healing wishes into who? What? Where are you going? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? So it's going to be Garchomp. I'm just going to Ice Beam here. Get some damage off. So he Earthquakes, knocks me out. I get to go into... I think back into Kingdra here. Just Surf is the play. So Venomoth comes in. I think we just um, Waterfall here. Try to get the Flinch. Quiver Dance is up. Um, hmm. Could be bad. I'm going to sack his Elf. Or I just waterfall again. Yeah, right, so he's that. Let's um I think Ice Shard takes it out from the range it's at. So we have to kind of actually um yeah, we have to Ice Shard here. Get rid of that Pokemon. It's gonna be a tough end game. Yeah, so that's the healing. Healing wish has already been used now. I'm just gonna energy ball here, or I just, or I rain dance. I'm an energy ball. <laughs> I mean, it was only a matter of time until we ended up losing to hacks or something. Cause like, imagine if we didn't get frozen, easy taunt, easy explode, and then he would not have been able to get up screens or anything, and so nothing would have been able to live. Literally have no switch ins for anything else. So unfortunate hacks lost there. Unfortunate, but you know what? You know what? With all the games that we've had so far. It's all right. Let's, let's continue on. Let's continue on here. Grab another game. Um, a sticky web team. Ooh, that's going to be pretty tough for our team, I would say. But hopefully we can uh, come through. Might be a little annoying. Hopefully it's not mental herb so I can taunt it turn one. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and taunt here. Okay, nice. It's not mental herb. <laughs> that's good. That's very good. I will gladly take that. He just final gambits, so we got rocks up. Now we can click rain dance, but he's scarf. Let's go scissor and rain dance up here, so that we can you turn out afterwards. So it's gonna be Gyarados that comes in. We're gonna you turn out here, and of course he he flinches. Beautiful, just what you love to see. Drop a Draco on this thing and try to get rid of it. The flinch was annoying because we needed the little chip and momentum. Oh, nice. Okay, so it knocks it out anyways. Beautiful. Just what you love to see. So then here, what we do is we can just waterfall this. That's a 65% right there. Ooh. <laughs> Flinch it back. Okay, so now we're even. Now we are even. Both flinches on scissors, though. That's crazy. So I'm not sure who comes in next. It's going to be Manaphy. Okay, so then in that case, what we do is we go um, Ludicolo here and Energy Ball. Trying to knock this thing out. Is definitely what we need to do. Nice, gone. Excellent. Team putting in the work. So here what we do is we go for the rain dance. <laughs> That's GG right there. You got the rain dance up here and we surf. That's gone. Last Pokemon is going to be Garchomp and we Ice Beam. And that's GG right there. Ludicolo! Woohoo! Ludicolo putting in the work though. Not bad. 
What are we at? Yeah, let's get another one. Maybe maybe two more. Maybe two more from this one. Two more. I mean, we're just... I mean, this is a fast-paced team. This is a very fast-paced team. This guy's team is uh, looking a little tough. I think I just... I think I taunt here. Or I get rocks up. Maybe I just ignore this thing and just go for rocks. Yeah. And now let's click Rain Dance. Oh, he's Ice Shard too. Nice. I'm going to taunt now. Okay, so then Frost Lash, what do we do here versus you? So you have Ice Shard, Shadow Ball. I think all I got to do here is I go Scizor, U-Turn to break the Sash. Oh, he actually has Wisp. That's uh, annoying, but not necessary. Mm. Okay, which one do I go into? Let's see. I think we could do. I think we could do Floatzel. Let's go Floatzel and just Crunch. Yeah, Floatzel Crunch here is the play. Tentacruel. Let's see how much this takes from a Crunch Life Orb Crunch. Not doing that much. Mm. King draws the play here. Drop a Draco on this thing, but Clef comes in, so we Surf. So he wishes, and then I think we just rain dance. Yep. Let's surf again. Knocks me out. We get to go Floatzel. Waterfall here. And that does 37. That's a pretty good damage. I might, I might just go for it again, really. Like, why not? Knocks off my life orb. That's fine. Let's go ahead and knock you out real quick. Yeah, so Tentacruel is gone. That, that's actually pretty good. Might be able to Earthquake a lot of stuff later on. I need to get another Rain Dance off though. It's the only thing. So Alakazam's in. Let's, yeah, let's go into uh, Scizor. Rain Dance. Here's the play. As Clef comes in, we can just Bullet Punch here. And he's going to Wish and into Protect. So let's go Floatzel and Waterfall now. Come on now, come on now, let's not play this game. <laughs> don't be stalling out my rain. I don't have a lot of it. That's some big damage right there. Ooh, very nice, very nice. That's really good damage. I think we can knock this out. Man. Alright, protect here, and then I surf again. Ah, gone. Okay, thankfully this... Stupid Fable is gone. <laughs> wish protect, wish protect. No more protection for you. Uh, so we go here into... Um, I think Scizor. And then just... Uh, probably Bullet Punch here. Gonna Roost. And then... No more Rain, unfortunately. Hmm... Need to get rain up somehow once again. I think I sack Floatzel. Go Mamoswine here. Icicle Crash. Yep, gone. Nice, nice. So Don fans in, we can just go right for the crash once again. Ooh, ooh. Let's see another. Okay, that's a roll right there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So Zam is in now. I think we just, I think at this point in time, if I'm not mistaken, we sack Ludicolo because we don't need this thing anymore. And then we go Scizor, we bullet punch to break the sash. Oh, but he has cursed body, which we got to be careful of as well. He got the cursed body. Okay, so we broke the sash. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. It's Earthquake here. No cursed body, please. Okay, nice. He just does that. Excellent. And then that should be game. Ah, came through. Came through. In the end, once again, we came through. Ah, one more game, I think. I think one more. And then we ended off. So that Clefable is annoying. Stalling out the rain and stuff like that. It's un most unfortunate. Very, very different from... There's some differences from, from of course, the original Gen 4 being that no unlimited rain, but then I think even back then you had to get rain dance up manually. It was manual rain dance still back then as well. Um, but that's still pretty interesting. 
Let's, let's leave the Azelf here and probably just go right for the... Uh, I want to do Rain Dance Rocks first, or just Rocks first. Ooh, okay. Let's Rain Dance here. Weaken this Magma Storm. Taunt is the next play. Nice Taunt Explosion into our Swift Swimmer. I'll Taunt again. Actually, I won't. Uh, maybe I shouldn't waste any turns then. I'll explode. Yeah, and now let's go into... Which one? Which one of our Swift Swimmer should we go into? Should we go into Floatzel here? Looking at the team. He's going to protect though. So I'm going to go Floatzel and just Waterfall here. I don't think he'll protect. Uh, he does still protect. What if I had bulk up, huh? What if I had bulk up? What if? So Latios is going to get 2 KO'd by this thing, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yep, that's gone. We have Focus Blast as well for the Crawdont, if we want to hit that up. Which will probably... It'll, it'll destroy it. Oko, it guaranteed. If we hit our move. <laughs> if we hit our move. Start a timer. It's going to be Scizor. Let's Waterfall this. Nice, uh... Clean damage. He turns out. Probably into Crawdont. Yeah, Crawdont Jet, I think, is his play. Which is absolutely fine, because now we get to go into Scizor and Rain Dance up. As he trains in. Gonna go hard Kingdra. Hard Kingdra's the play. As he taunts, nice. So he'll protect and then something will die next. The Damp Rock Scizor is really, really good. Extremely good against um so just to be able to set up rain and just extend the turns as much as possible. Shook off the taunt, and then now Clef, uh, Clef is in. We just get we just got a surf, I think. 55, so that's definitely more um what do you call it? Spadef than anything. Um Gonna go scissor and bullet punch. The question is would he switch? Is I am not sure if he switched or not. Okay, nice. Gone. So don't have to worry about Clef, Clef anymore. That's really good. I know he knocks me out here, though. I think what we do is we sack... Let's think about this, actually. I think we sack Mamoswine. Because he's going to Crab Hammer here. And I don't want to go hard, Ludicolo. Hmm. Well, if I need to get the rain up, though, actually, maybe Mamoswine. Keeping Mamoswine might be good. But he has two priority months. I'll I'll U turn out. Oh, I'm actually faster. Wait, why am I why am I faster than your Crawdont? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> why was I faster than your Crawdont, man? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, that is most unfortunate. <laughs> ah, good game, good game. It's too bad that we didn't get any uh, thumbnail text for this one. I was hoping that at least somebody would say something. So I came prepared with a replay of somebody saying something while I was testing this team and climbing up the ladder. Found somebody that said something. So basically, delete Honchkrow, and I'm like, this Pokemon's a threat, so I must explode. <laughs> Just like that other game that I had uh, before in um, one of my other videos I had to explode. I think it was on the Trick Room team as well. So then I Rain Dance here, you know, get the nice Rain Dance up, go right into Kingdra, and then he clicks Sunny Day. I'm like, oh shoot, that thing is a Sunny Day Magmortar to combat my Rain. But then I have Rain Dance again, so I go for a Rain Dance once more. Then he's forced to sack here, so gliscor has gone. And then... Um, Think he goes into Honchkrow? Yeah, to Sucker Punch or something. I'm like, nah, you can't Sucker Punch me. Go to my Scizor, ready for the U-turn. But however, look at this. Brave Bird critical hits and gone. So I, I, either he was, um, I mean, he could have been Super Luck. Could have been Super Luck, but maybe he was Moxie. Not too sure. Anyways, um, go for the Waterfall here. Knock out this Weavile because look at this Floatzel coming through. Absolutely nothing for this thing now. So he actually doubles into Ursaring as I go Kingdra just to sack. And so this is pretty good for me because I am faster than it. I just go for the Surf not to miss any kind of Draco Meteors because now at this point in time, Choice Scarf Mamoswine. Now we get to see a little bit of the Choice Scarf Mamoswine action going for the fast Earthquake here. And I'm pretty sure his Magmortar is timid, which is why I went into it. Maybe it has like Focus Blast or something, but nah, it's gone now. And um, thumbnail text here. He's like, cool, this thing has zero weaknesses. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, thank you. I figured that was a pretty interesting one. Because he had both uh, Magmortar and Electivire. I was on the climb with this um, with this team while I was testing and stuff. But it was an interesting team to see. 
as well. But I think that's where we're going to end it off for this one. Uh, so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed seeing the power of rain. I think rain is really underrated right now. Um, it just puts in a lot of work, you know, with the, with the rain dance. Not a lot of people are prepared to face Swift Swim, especially when Drizzle is banned. But you bring a team like this and, you know, not a lot of teams have much for it. Unless, of course, they have like, you know, all the rain switches like Tentacruel and all kinds of stuff where you have to kind of get your way out of it somehow. But um, yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments your favorite rain dancer. I'd like to know. And I look forward to hearing from you all as always. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.